Hello, today we are comparing the brand new U5 with older i7 models. The oldest one, the 20 thread 12700K, was introduced in 2021 and now costs less than $200. The 13700K is about $100 more expensive. It has 4 additional e cores, but it's also a hotter processor. However, not as hot as the 14700K which costs $340. It comes with additional 4 e-cores, making it the most powerful i7 ever. The opponent is the 14-core, 14 14-thread 14 U5, priced at $320. It should be the coolest processor amount all four. In terms of core and thread count, the leader is 14700K, but that's just specs. And now it's time for tests. Let's start with single-threaded Geekbench 6. Here the Ultra 5 takes the lead, outperforming i7s by 4 17 persons. Nice! But what about multi-threaded performance? Here the situation is quite different. The i7s have more cores, so they perform better. The exception is the 20 core 12700K. Also, we calculate the price per 1000 points in Geekbench 6, so the 12700K offers the best value for money. It's a great way to save. Now for gaming. There are two clear leaders, the i7 13th and 14th generation, and the U5 performs on par with the 12700K. No surprise, even the U7 265K is weaker than the previous i7s. Of course, we calculate the cost per FPS. The 12700K is again the leader. It's almost 70% better than the U5 and 14700K. And the last is power consumption. Here again we have two leaders and two underdogs. The Core U5 performs best in this regard. So which one should you choose? If you are looking to save money, the 12700K is the best option. It's the least powerful, but its gap in performance isn't as big as the price difference. By the way, this is also the choice of ChatGPT. The i7 13th and 14th generations had stability issues, plus they are hot and quite expensive. The U5 has two strong advantages – excellent single-threaded performance and low power consumption. And which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our other processor videos.